So you probably clicked on this video to learn how college admissions officers and teams double check all of the information that you're putting on your application for college. Well, truth is they really don't check. What's up everyone? My name is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so today's video is super exciting because we are going to be talking about lying on your college applications. So if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Rachel. I graduated from UC Berkeley in the class of 2020 where I double majored in cognitive science and legal studies. I'm currently working full-time at a law firm and this past admission cycle, I was an external undergraduate admissions reader with UC Berkeley. So if you're a student applying to colleges soon, you should definitely check out Study Hall College Consulting. We are a team of UC Berkeley grads who specialize in reviewing college application essays as well as consulting one-on-one -on -one with students and parents. So definitely check out our website and social medias for more tips and tricks. Without further ado, let's get into this video. So you're probably asking yourself, colleges receive thousands of applications, how can they double check the information in every application? The answer is that many colleges do not explicitly check the information in every single application. If something odd comes up when reviewing your application, sure, they will dig a little bit deeper to fact check, but usually they are not fact checking every application because they are so many. With so many applications, a lot of colleges do not have the time to fact check every single one. So one kind of lying you could do on your application would be exaggerating information. That means saying maybe you did 12 hours in an activity, where in reality maybe you only did 10 hours in that activity every single week. This kind of exaggeration is hard to check 10 hours hours versus 12 hours, but when filling out your activity section, you don't want to go over 24 hours, and that's even less hours for activities if you account, say, 7 or 8 hours of school and then 7 or 8 hours of sleeping. So you really want to be careful when you're filling out the activity section. Another kind of lie in your college application would be saying that you're the president of all of these clubs that maybe you've never participated participated in before, or maybe you're just a general member in that group, but you're lying and saying that you're a president or some other kind of leadership position that you never held in that group before. Or similarly, a lie could be saying that you spend 10, 20, 30, 40 hours a week in a group that you've never even participated in before once. So this kind of lie would be a red flag where that college then might dig deeper, contact your guidance counselor, contact your school to try to get some more information, try to verify this information that you put in your college app. And then some other red flags that are really, really easy to verify would be writing a college application essay, lying about the death of a parent or family member. That is really easy to verify, lying about your race or ethnicity on your application or writing essays about that. And then just plagiarizing essays from the internet or other online sources also easy to verify. So you have to keep in mind that there are going to be a lot of eyes looking at your application. So even if that college isn't going into every single app and fact checking every single item, a handful of people are looking at your application. It really only takes one to flag it for inconsistencies or for your essays. It just takes one person to see, hey, I think I've seen this essay before. Maybe it's plagiarized. Let me flag this for the university that then might garner a deeper look into your application 
which happened to a Harvard student. One professor noticed that this student's scholarship application materials really resembled the work of another professor, which then warranted a deeper look into this student's history and past applications, where then this student was indicted on 20 counts of larceny, identity fraud, falsifying an endorsement or approval, and pretending to hold a degree. So another red flag for your application would be discrepancies in your application. You know, things not adding up in all parts of your application, from your activities section to your essays. Things not adding up between your essays and your letters of recommendation. And then those schools might flag that application, dig a little bit deeper, they're probably going to be contacting your school, your guidance counselor, and one article that I was looking at to research for this video, that college said that they get so many applications, if they have some with red flags, they have the liberty to just not accept those red flag students. Because they're getting so many amazing, qualified student applicants, if something isn't adding up, they might just reject you. So going into some colleges that do check and try to verify the information you're putting on your college application would be the UCs, the University of California Public School System. So like UC Berkeley, UCLA, UC San Diego, UC Davis, the UC schools do a kind of of verification where the UC as a whole, they select a random sampling of applications to verify. The UC would ask these randomly selected students to provide documentation of a randomly selected item on their college application. So say that item was a club that you're the president of, then you would have to provide proof that you're in that club, that you're the president of that group. And because the UC system is one system with all of these colleges beneath it, the UCs are able to share information between one college to another. This means that the UC has access to all apps applied to any UC in the system. And if something comes up where you're falsifying information, lying on your college app, for the UCs, they are able to rescind your admission from all of the UCs that you applied to and were accepted into if they find lying on your application. Versus for private universities, if one college discovers lying on your application, it is against federal antitrust laws to share that information with the other colleges you applied to. So going into some consequences of lying on your college application, the biggest consequence if you are caught falsifying information, lying on your college app materials, would be that you won't get accepted into that university or you would have your college acceptance revoked. So it can be the case that if you're caught lying after you were already accepted, then you could get your acceptance revoked, you're no longer accepted, you are rejected from that university. If you're caught lying about your college application materials, or while you're in college, maybe you are caught falsifying scholarship materials, which is what happened to that Harvard student who then had more of their past dug into, which then led to those 20 counts that I was talking about earlier. One falsification can lead to an entire background check on everything that you've applied to, where then if you're already a college student or maybe you're graduated already, you could get expelled from that college or have your degree Degree revoked if you've already graduated. So a big example of that would be the college admission scandal. The students who may have already graduated but then were looked into for falsifying their like SAT scores or essays. Even though they're already graduated, they did those four years at that college, they could have their degree revoked and then it's like you never even went to college. So the biggest piece of advice would be to not lie on your college application application materials. It's similar to like cheating on an exam in college or cheating on a test in high school. The risk is not worth it. You know, it is not worth it if you are caught lying or cheating because that will go on your school record. You might get your acceptances rescinded. You might get expelled from college for cheating or lying. So it's really, really not worth it. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. 
below. If you have any video ideas that you want to see me do, also leave a comment below. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all next time.